Hey booktube, welcome back to my channel, Book Chat, hosted by I Love to Read. And so, sorry, my introduction is, you know, this camera makes it seem like my hair is like really ugh, but I'm not photogenic, so and I don't mean to go all, um, all vain on your conceit, but it's kind of messed with my self-esteem a little but anyway, so yes, welcome to Book Chat, hosted by I Love to Read. I need a new intro too, and I'm going to get one. Walk like an Egyptian. Remember that song? Walk like an Egyptian. So, yeah, anyway, Book Chat. So, I have two book reviews as my... Um, Thing said, one is a children's book review and the other is uh, one from NetGalley. This one is from NetGalley called She's My Dad. And as soon as I have a cup of coffee, I mean not a cup of coffee, but a drink, excuse me, which is my mug, time for coffee. Do you like it? Guess where I got it from? Dollar Tree, yes. And it's a Fitzgraph mug too. Wish I could show you, but I can't. Fitzgraph mug, Dollar Tree, awesome. And uh, you know they don't cost a dollar. And um, what? Oh, and the, the coffee is a it's a Puerto Rican coffee called Cafe something with an M. Can't remember the name. Uh, the packaging is yellow, black lettering. A little bit of red on it and then the cream I'm drinking is a uh, limited edition peeps flavor you know the peeps marshmallow thing peeps flavor I'll put in the description box who makes it cuz I can't remember I want to say international but anyway mm. so good okay so Let's get started on my review. All right, so again, she's my dad. Uh, a Father's Transition and a Son's Redemption by Jonathan Williams and Paula Stone Williams. So Jonathan Williams is the son. Paula Williams, um, AKA to them and the people from their church, Paul Williams, who's the dad. Um, and what happened is Jonathan says, which I'm not giving any spoilers, so don't get mad. And so you gave a spoiler. No, I didn't. Because you already know the title, She's My Dad, which means that dad changed. So, and titles transition. So, hint, foreshadowing. Yeah, foreshadowing. Because you give me a hint. So, anyway, um, but Jonathan and his dad, Paul, would go to, like, baseball games. And Jonathan said he always realized his dad was a little different. He felt like something was different about his dad. And then afterwards, uh, long story short of it is his dad, uh, now he's a, his son has become an adult. And he's married and has his own family and his own church. And his dad has started a church. And his dad decided that now... He just wanted to come out and say that his dad uh, felt like he's in the wrong body. He's a woman. Um, and so he wants to transition to a woman. And um, after that, well, you know, his father, of course, lost the church. Uh, just things. The son went through bouts of depression. He started drinking. and Well, he was already drinking, but it was, became heavily. So uh, they talked about that. Um, and just the outcome of what his son went through, what his father went through, what the family went through, his mom went through because his dad was married. Um, so it talks about all that. Now, would I read this book again? I don't think so. I might change my mind, so I'll pro probably keep it on my, on my um, tablet, but I don't think I would read the book again. And why? Because they... I don't know. It's um, I know it's the way they feel. Okay, 
but it still felt like you're mad and saying how the church did you dirty. But you came from religion that said that that wasn't acceptable, that that's not what God intended. And now you want to continue, you want to have the church accept who you became who you, and if not, it's like you guys both feel like you're bullying each other, but um, that's not what they, they don't want to accept that. So you're getting, I'm trying to make it, say it correctly without you people coming for me, because if you do come for me, I'm going to delete it. I might see something back, but no, I'll just delete. But anyway, it goes, they're getting up that, uh, they, so anyway, they're, they're upset that they're not being accepted. Um, but you already know that so why would you think that now they're going to accept and say okay even though we know that God did make a mistake that that's not his will that we'll go ahead and let you stand in front of the pulpit still um, talk to the whole congregation while you're living this way and we're supposed to say well we still believe but we'll accept and let you teach something that's not true according to them also I I don't, um, I kind of feel like in the book, he's blaming the church for not, for just the things he's going through and things because of his drinking, but you were already drinking mm -hmm. and you belong to, uh, you were part of a religion that says, no, you can't drink, especially drinking and, and to excess. Um, so I don't know. I just... I'll probably, I might read it again, maybe just I was reading in my feelings, um, and maybe I should separate, if I decide to read again, separate my feelings from um, the book, and just try to read it as if I know, you know, as if I'm someone who doesn't have, who knows nothing of that. Hmm. I'm trying to word it correctly because I can't say word it like I wouldn't know because the person becomes an agnostic because they kind of know the existence of God but they're not quite sure and then um, the ones become atheists because either they never believed in God or they did but something hey but something changed their mind I don't know but anyway right now I say I don't think so what will I give this um, the rating for this, I'll give it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. Just, I don't know, because that, but what I'm going to do, I'll give a better, um, review in my Goodreads and in my WordPress blog, only because I can formulate my thoughts a little bit better, where no one is people probably still will find something wrong that I've said. But anyway, I think I will do better on paper. And then, you know. But anyway, you know, feel free to leave me a comment if you would like, just be respectful. Um, yeah. So that was it. That's how I felt about this book. I just kind of think he was writing in, writing in their feelings, his feelings still. And so I'm reading in my feelings. Honestly, that's how I felt. So, yeah. But thank you, Net Galley, for sending me this book. And I might read it again. And if so, then I'll update my... That's what I'll do. If I read it again, I'll update my review. Okay. There we go. So that's the end of that one. Now, the other book review is a children's book called... Oh, I like my hair like this. I'm sorry. Um, maybe I should do a book review on a hair book. And then that way I can talk about my hair. Anyway. Tree of Cranes by Alan Say. This is a very, it's a beautiful book. It's a children's book published by Scholastics, I believe. If I'm correct. And this, yes, it is published by Scholastics. Look at the picture. And I'll give you another. 
Okay, and so what this book is about is a son um, and his mother, who is actually American. And um, whenever she did, she did, it doesn't say in the book, but she moved to Japan um, and married a man from Japan and had their son. And so now it's winter in Japan. Uh, he went out to this pond and he wasn't supposed to. His mother uh, asked him not to go and he did and because she has this um, fear and belief uh, that they have this saying about, um, wait, I forget how it goes. Anyway, she doesn't want him near the water, put it that way. And he came back and found that, yes, he did. He got, you know, his feet got wet or whatever. And she found out and he comes home and she has some warm up and things and take a nice warm bath. And anyway, he sees that she has dug up the tree that was buried in their backyard. Um, not buried, but you know, like planted in their yard. And she brings it out and she's uh, decorating it and things and talking to him. Well, long story short, she teaches him about Christmas here in America and how they celebrate. And I don't want to give the story away because it's a really sweet book. So in actuality, this book is about um, two cultures that come together, uh, a love for a, mo a mother for her son, um, about respect uh, for rules. Um, let's see. Um, I don't want to say old wives' tales or superstition, but kind of along that way. Um, and um, dreams, your dreams and wishes. And that's what that's about. It's a very sweet story. I read this um, to my patients and we discussed it about exactly what I told you about, what all these, everything in here entails. So that's it. Will I read this book again? I have read it several times. And um, I give this book a five out of five stars. So yes. And oh, I don't have the other book to show, but yes. So uh, that is my my book review so sorry thank you so much um i'm done you won't see me anymore in this outfit hopefully my i don't want to go all up uh, Low self esteem is on you. I don't have a better title. But anyway, this is what I've done, and I thank you so much for hearing me out on my two book reviews. And uh, I got to get more comfortable behind the camera. I'm really not. But you guys are great for sticking with me. I keep seeing that my, my uh, subscribers are growing. Uh, I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. So if it grows like this and I'm hardly on, imagine what it, it could do. Here's the weird thing. I've looked over my old videos as I was loading up these, and there's a couple that two or three have done very well. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm like, what did I do? What do they like? And it's been watched a lot, too. Go figure. So... Alrighty then, but I'm going to try to stick because you know what, I really do like talking about books. I do. I'm just uncomfortable. But I have a lot of different um, ideas that I keep writing down. And so the list is growing. I want to talk about cookbooks. Um, I want to bring my friend um, Dolly, Dottie. She is going to crack up. <laughs> I want to bring Dottie on my channel. And she's going to bring me on hers. And we're going to talk about books and cooking. Because, hey, cookbooks. Oh, Dottie, Dottie. Girl, I want to tell you.
got another idea. Talk to you about it. But, yes, um, she knows how to edit her videos. She told me what software to use. I can't figure that thing out still. I tried, so I'm going to have her help me too so we can both have a better video. I got a lot of things, ideas. Um, so, you're sticking around. Thank you. If you left and you just happen to see this again and pop up, thanks for at least watching it. If you come back, thank you. Um, I still have to do that book tag. Whether he's still with me or not, I gotta do it. Because he's the only one that's ever tagged me and I thought that was so sweet. And, um, yeah. Sean. Sean the book maniac. That's who it is. I love his video. You should check him out too. I forgot to do that. Thank you guys. I've been here babbling for a while. Some a little bit for the while. I'm sorry. I'm so like hmm. Yeah. That's it. Thank you guys so much. Have a blessed day. Read an awesome book. Drink one of your favorite drinks. The coffee I like. You know what? Hold up. So I'm right. International Delight Peeps. So, limited edition. Look how cute this is. So I know I'm still going to put it in the description box. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I haven't been on here long enough for people to sponsor me. I don't have enough videos. I don't have enough subscribers. I don't have enough of anything that people would be interested in saying, oh, let me ask her, you know. So, it's all right. I do this because I like it. I'm not on here enough to actually keep doing it just to prove to you guys I like it. But I do. I love talking about books because when I'm with other people, I do talk about books. All right. Thank you so much. So, again, um, I want to have a better intro, have a better ending. But thank you. So, hopefully, She's My Dad by Jonathan Williams. Um, uh read it. I mean, come to your own conclusion. I'll probably read again and not in my feelings. Um, and Tree of Cranes. It's a beautiful book. Read it. Five out of five stars. Thank you so much. You guys have a blessed day. Um, and a blessed week. And thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate it and stay with me. God bless. Ciao.